for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. So, first off, sorry for being late on today's upload. I couldn't get into my Xbox. I couldn't sign in. And I thought everyone was having this issue. Clearly, it was just me. Apparently, some data got corrupted on my Xbox, so I had to go call Xbox and work out some issues. I ended up having to hard reset my whole Xbox and then get some of my stuff back and redo the whole setup. So it was a whole process. It was kind of frustrating. I really thought I wasn't going to make a video today. But luckily, it's all good now. So in getting into day three on this market crash, we are now into the third day. The first two days were pretty bad. This day's done a weird flip, though. And before I get into that, I want to thank you guys real quick again for all the support because we're now at about 340 subs. That is crazy. I couldn't have imagined I'd be at 340 already considering a week ago I was at 215. Like, that's crazy. You guys are getting, you guys are killing it with the support. And pro I was probably being a little overzealous yesterday about hitting 1,000 subs in the night, but you guys get the point. Just keep dropping the sub and keep showing the love because at this rate, I'll be at 1,000 by next month. That that's crazy. Like, you guys have me on that pace. I'm gaining about 25 subs a day. Everyone's one sub really matters now. It really matters. I don't think you guys comprehend that. I had 1,600 views yesterday total. That, like, every little sub I get from you guys really matters. So just go down below and drop the sub. Keep showing support. Big things are coming for this channel. I'm really working hard to try to get us to where we need to be. And it's going really well so far. I feel like I came out firing, and I'm pretty, pretty well ahead of where I thought I would be at this point. So thanks a lot for all the support, and just, you know, keep keep showing the love. So I'm, I'm going to get into this now. So the promo's done a weird flip now, so as far as the market goes. So what I've just realized is that for some reason, the Ultimate Legends are back up more now, like I said. Like how I said yesterday, I told you, I told you to sell the Ultimate um, what's called sell them overnight for like around 260 so that would have been a good idea now the 98s are actually down so the 97s went up and these new 98s went down so if you ever wanted to dick lane or walter Payton, now would probably be the time but now a weird observation i just had was that the combine players are down the ultimate legends are up so actually chris johnson's cheaper now too but again kind of a waste of a card unless you're a johnson fan or titans theme team so, Dell Beckham Jr. is now 417k, which I don't comprehend, per se, because Odell is one of the best cards out of this combine promo. Also, Pat Pete is coming, and Telvin Smith, Telvin Smith, Pat Pete, and Com Odell are probably the three best cards. I might be a little biased, but they're probably the three most glitchiest cards from these cards that came out, besides Byron Jones, too. So, I'm not really comprehending why they're the cheapest so if you guys ever wanted to know dell or telvin or pat pete there's two things i have to say about this you could get them right now there's the cheapest they're going to be during this promo now if there's a blitz they will go back up now again when the when this promo is over they will go down in value when i predict that when this is over these players will be about 280k maybe less because they have to be because to compete on the training market ultimate legends are 250 to 60k these have to drop so if you're if you if you have no issue waiting and you're all in it to save the coins. Wait until this promo is over. These will go down to at least 300k minimum. They have to. Now, on the other hand, you can also get them now. And this is the cheapest to probably be during this promo. I mean, I can't see them going any lower than 380 because of the price of scouts. This is what the scout market has been has come to. So it really all depends on how this all works out. All right, now going back down to the low overalls. It appears that these haven't really moved too much. I mean, they actually these kind of went up. It's this taking a weird little, I don't know if the market's readjusting to where it should be, I guess, is what this is telling me, is that these should be higher than they are. And then the 97 should be lower than they are, which is technically right from a training standpoint. Now the 91, okay, so they're finally separating in price a little bit, because now the 90s are down to 80k. Don't recommend touching these again if you want, if you want scouts, stick to the 96, 97s. Let's see how much lower it gets. The 88s are actually 18k, which I believe would be a very good value for... It wouldn't be a great value for training, but if you don't have a lot of coins, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Let's see where the 89s are. Again, a good sniping method. I feel like I said yesterday, get these 89s for about 18 to 19k and resell them for 27. Quick, easy coins. Highly recommend. Now, the 86s, have these readjusted? No, these are still around 15. Oh, 87s are 15. Okay, if you can get these 87s for like 12k, it's a pretty good sniping method too. Let me check out the Ultimate Legends, see how these have adjusted, because this is like a very weird twist. I, I guess, like I said, it's readjusting more properly. Okay, again, you guys know the method for these. Get these for about 9K, but not what I'm talking about right now. The 88s, 18K. Okay, so these are, again, not a bad price. If you can get these 80, these 89s went down from yesterday. All right, hold up. Maybe it was the 90s I'm thinking of. Give me one sec. 
Okay, so now it's 90. So you want to get these 90s for about 20 to 22k. That was a good. That was a good price yesterday. I was sniping a few of them. Where the 91s at? All right, so these actually went up a little bit because yesterday these were like 29k. They went up a few k, like base. Now let's do the 94, 95s. These are these haven't really moved too much, to be completely honest with you. These haven't really been that affected. The 94, I don't know what it is. The 94s don't really move too much. 94, 95s. It's usually the top end and the low end. So the 96, 97s, these are going up right now, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they're going back. I mean, I guess they probably should have never been that cheap to begin with. But I don't know what, in, like, forced the market to rise on these. Like, that's what I'm not comprehending. Let's see where my mic all stop stands. Yeah, that's never happening. Yeah, I'll get myself that new, uh, Bohannon at some point. For my, my pitches. And my, uh, uh what's called stretch runs. Alright, so back to the 98, 99s. Yeah, these are staying dormant here. Um, Calvin's still very cheap. You need a Calvin. Night train lane's kind of useless unless you have a line steam team, to be completely honest with you. I mean, not like useless, like he's not good, but like if for the money you spend, I'd watch. Like, look at this Pat Pete. Tell me you wouldn't rather have Pat Pete than this card. This Pat Pete's gonna have a 99 speed when he's powered up. 99 Excel, 99 Jump, 99 Agile, 99 Man, 99 Zone. Just about in everything. So like I just don't I just don't comprehend why you want a night train lane. But again, if you have a line steam team or you're a night train lane fan, good for you, I guess. But I'm saying for the money wise, it's not worth it. Walter Payton, again, he's a halfback, but it, again, running backs are very preference based. So I don't judge people having running backs. Like obviously Ricky Williams is just as good as Barry Sanders pretty much now. But I like Barry Sanders, so that's why I have him. But if you're gonna have I mean I wouldn't mind. I kinda wanna try this Walter Payton now, but again, he's not that good unless you power him up from a standpoint of if you have Ricky or Barry already. And the Sean Taylor. Similar price. These are all good prices for these cards, honestly. Ultimate Legends, Endgame cards. Donovan McNabb. I'm not too happy about this Donovan McNabb, though. So, I mean, if, unless you're, you know, Eagle Steam. Not too much use on this one, to be honest. I mean, he's pretty much Vic. He's pretty much Vic, except Vic came out, like, two months ago. And he's going to get a better card soon. This is Donovan McNabb's probably last card for the year. At least I think so. Now, that's pretty much it for this point of the market. I mean, let's see what the new limited editions are going for. You know, obviously, they're always going to cap out above 500k. They're not even up. Would it even be limited edition or would it count as? And if you guys look at these, I mean, these cards, again, aren't really the best value. These 96s, but these are way down as per usual, too. The whole market's like in a fritz right now. We really need something to stabilize it. So whether that be a blitz, which will, a blitz will probably... It'll get rid of a lot of the surplus of scouts and a lot of... It'll get rid of a lot of things. So the, the Blitz will readjust the market. And then after the promo, the market will probably settle it itself out based on trading like it always does. So we won't have a normal looking market for probably another two weeks. So, I, I mean, again, it could be the rest of the year. Like, we might, the market might just be... That could might be it for a stable market for the rest of the year. Because we're at the point where everything's a 99. So, like, there's less demand. You know, a few months ago, training was so... Trading was so valued because you can get yourself a 99, a high overall card that no one else had. Now it's like everyone's gonna have 99 overall, so training is gonna be a preference thing now. Like, obviously it's useful for John Madden and Kems, but the high training, like the 56,000 for Mahomes, like that might not be that useful in a month when everyone's a 99 overall. So like, if you're not really using training that much, or everyone has the cards already, you're not making, not many people is make, you're not gonna make as many changes to the team anymore. Like I told you, a lot of my teams are the end game. So, I don't know. I mean, Madden's coming to that point already. So if you're, you know, if you guys are looking to get these cards, I mean, I wouldn't pull packs for them personally. If you're gonna, like, like, I, like I said on Twitter, I mean, not to like promote or anything, but like, if you're gonna go buy packs, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna spend money at this point in the game, just buy coins. Head on over to CoinBank UT, which is my sponsor, and use my code Poodle. You get about 15% off at checkout, and it's way worth it. I mean, personally, buying packs just to give you guys a quick math is $100 worth of packs might just get you with like 589 overalls out of those legend packs and. That's it. You're at 100 bucks for maybe 200k, or you use 100 dollars, you can get like a million coins. Just about a million coins. You can get a million coins for 100 guaranteed. And get what realistically, the best thing you're gonna pull out of packs right now is this Walter, uh, these Walter Payton, this Night Train Lane, or the New Limited Time Combine cards, and they all go for under a million coins. And that's the luckiest thing you're gonna pull, and probably one out of every 2,000 people even get that. So, just head on over to my sponsor. The link will be down below. Use my code. Helps me out. Helps you guys out. It's just it's the it's the most efficient way of doing things right now. And if you're worried about you know anything with um, issues with doing it in your account, do it in a side account. Get what you need, transfer it over, trade it with limited times. It's the best way to do it. So that's about it for this video.
there's not much more to say on the market crash. It is what it is right now. You got to just keep waiting it out and just try to manipulate it the best way you can, what you feel is right. Because again, there's no definitive way of saying what is right at this point with the market. Do you buy low? Do you wait? You know, like it all depends because if there's a blitz, things could go haywire in a minute. So that's about it. So thank you guys for all the support. I hope you've enjoyed my content. And if you got to this point in the video and you've been enjoying it, please drop the sub down below. I'm aiming for 400 by tomorrow, hopefully, with the way we're growing. We're going at about almost 25 to 30 subs a day. So but at this rate, about 400 tomorrow is what I'm hoping for. I mean, I know you guys can do it. So just go drop the sub, go comment down below and like. And um, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys later.